Hey, what is up everyone? Danny and Alex. In this tutorial for Valley Tudo, aka Mixed Martial Arts, let's look at leg locks. So check it out. Alright, so the first technique we're going to look at is the basic foot lock position. Alright, so now you're standing in somebody's uh, open guard position, so the feet are accessible. Alright, so now you want to push one leg out of the way. So look, he moves this one, and now he's going to take a step. Right, so I can't place that foot back, but the moment he takes a step now, uses that hand to underhook that leg and feed it into this arm. So now he has that foot trap and make sure that the elbow is tight so that way I don't remove my foot. And now look, he's going to have a seat. When he does so, he's going to use this foot on the outside of my leg and press his toes on my hip. The reason why we want to do this is to secure the position because if you only leave your foot on the mat, I'm going to start to sit up and then eventually maybe even mount him. So by keeping the foot here, he keeps me exactly where I am. So that way there, he has everything controlled into the leg position. And now all that's left to do is use that figure four that he has on the ankle and bridge his hips. So once again, he removes one of the feet, steps in, now pushes the leg and feeds it in the armpit. All right, notice how he has a nice figure four connection. That prevents me from trying to take my foot out of that grip. And now he has a seat. The moment he does so, he presses here on the hip. If I try to sit up, he's going to use that foot to push me back down, keep me at bay. And don't forget, it only takes a second to bridge into the foot lock. Now the second attack we're going to look at is the outside heel hook. First, just the basic positioning. So now he's going to use the same thing to entry into the foot lock position, trap the foot. Now, the only difference now, he's going to let go of that leg. And now look, he keeps the toes trapped in his armpit. And now he's going to hook the heel, only the heel. And now look, he's going to use his palm and just either palm to palm or seatbelt grip. And now torque the heel towards the outside to cause the tap. So one more time, gets the entrance from here, traps the foot. Now notice how he simply lets go, but he doesn't let go of the toes. See, as he lets go, the toes are still trapped and that forces the heel exposure. And now look, as he hooks only the heel, that's why it's called a heel hook. Now he's gonna go two on one. And now from there, just torque and heel hook. Now building on the previous technique, we're gonna use the same heel hook, but now with a more advanced variation. So as we get the foot, now he's gonna sit down and as he connects this heel, he wants to use the inside leg and press it inside my leg. What this does, it prevents me from escaping. So as he pushes this leg now, if I try to roll onto my stomach to prevent a heel hook, now my leg's in the way. And now to secure the leg, he's going to bring this leg underneath into a triangle motion from here. And now it's hard for me to escape the heel hook. And now I can attack the same position once again adding even more pressure onto the knee. So once more, he steps in, gets his foot, that connection here. Now, of course, I want to try to spin away from the heel hook. So what he does, he extends his leg into the knee pit right here. So now this leg is in the way, I can't turn, and he locks everything in to create even more pressure. Now my knee joint is really locked in. So don't forget, when you attack a heel hook, you're not only attacking the heel, 80% of the damage is at the knee joint. So now as he turns in, the knee is immobilized, and now from here, tap. All right, another situation sometimes once you've passed the guard and you have a knee on belly stabilization, is the opponent here is going to have his foot resting like this. And in my position, I should never be doing this. But you'll see that a lot, people just kind of relax here. You're thinking maybe they can use this knee to kind of like stop the mount position or whatnot. This is a perfect opportunity to attack a foot lock. So this time we're going to use a toe hole. Watch, he's going to switch to the reverse knee on belly position from here to face that leg. And now look, he's going to attack the toe hole. So he's going to underhook the ankle and trap the top of the toes. And now figure four his arms. From here, there's enough pressure to cause a tap. But we can also have a seat to stabilize and fall and pinch our knees to control this leg. And now if you can control my quadricep, it's hard for me to start to move away from that toe hole. The only defense I have is to stretch my leg out completely, but if you press on the toes, it's impossible to do so. And now it's just gonna torque and create the ankle break. So once again, he switches, but if the foot is here, that's a mistake, so you wanna capitalize on this. Now he's gonna switch, grab the foot, fall into the first technique, 
boom, stabilize the leg and toe hole. All right, in the next attack, we're gonna show you guys, maybe you're stuck on the bottom of the mount position. So he wants to use his hips to make me post onto the mat. As he bridges me over, it forces me to post here. And now he's gonna use the frame. So every time you do this, you have to ensure that your palms are gonna be ready to attack the hips. So he's gonna bring his palms to my hips so that way they can drive me to the side. So first things first is the unbalancing effect of the bridge. Boom, catch with the palms and now drive me to the side. As he pushes, look, there's space here. As I fall, the knee enters and the foot traps on the outside of the hip. He brings this foot right here. Now my leg is seized, all right? So always towards the outside and press like a push kick. And now look, he caught the foot lock and bridge. And that's a beautifully attacked ankle lock. So here we go once again, bridge me over, force the hips to the side and unbalance. Now it's very important to bring that knee inside. Now once he pushes me down, forces me to collapse here and traps the hip. Very important, now squeeze both legs against one of the limbs, which is my leg. All right, so now he's controlling my leg. Legs are very strong, you need your legs to control them. And now from here, as his figure four is locked in place, he bridges forward, causes the ankle lock. Sometimes when you're passing the guard, they might sweep you. And you can capitalize on that by being more quicker and attack the foot lock. So from here, maybe I trap his wrist and I posture here to stand up, boom. And now as I open the guard from here, now he's gonna trap both feet, right? I made a mistake where my feet were parallel and now he uses what we call the double ankle sweep. As I fall from here, look, he stays exactly where he is. I'll capitalize by switching this leg over, turning him to the side. Now one foot is in the armpit, all right? So I'll bring one leg across, one step out here. And look, same thing we just did, foot lock to break the ankle. So once again, you're posturing in, step here, open the guard. Now from here, maybe this was Valley Tudo and I tried to strike here, but I wasn't conscious of where my feet were placed. So I got swept. So a lot of times when you get swept, if the opponent doesn't mount you right away, you can sit up and bring this leg over to turn him onto his belly. Now it's important from here that you trap one of his legs. So I'll bring my shin across the opposite leg, post my other leg on the outside, and look, the foot is available in the armpit to trap it, lock it, and break it. Using a similar technique now, sometimes when you're bottom of the mount, you might grab underneath the armpits to force the position to here. Now it brings the opponent really high onto your chest, all right? So look, you're gonna bring your feet where your hands are, and back door escape. That's the back roll here, forcing me into this position here. Now he's gonna trap one of the foot, post his leg out, figure four, just like we did, and look, ankle break from here. So once again, drive the body weight over, bring the legs underneath the armpit, and roll out of there, forcing me on my stomach. And look, you wanna trap your shin on the opposite leg, attack the foot that's available, post your leg out, and from here, bridge forward. All right, guys, so there you have it. Leg attacks from all sorts of positions. Guys, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Leave us a thumbs up, and we'll catch you in the next video. Take care.